First on four, last year the state of Texas cut funding to therapists who treat some of the state's most vulnerable children. Some Valley families are speaking out, worried they'll lose the care that are teaching the children important life skills. CBS 4's Patrick Chalvier has this report. Unless you have a child with a special need, well, you know what this means. Even to cut one day, you know, a lot of these kids regress, and that's what we don't want. Let's be bold. Let's stand together for the ones that can't speak. Veronica Garza is just one of the thousands of Texas families speaking out before the 2017 legislative session. Back in 2015, state lawmakers ordered a $350 million cut to Medicaid, the federal state insurance program which pays for speech, physical, and occupational therapists. To many, it doesn't mean much, but to us, like... Uh, four peas nugget, being able to eat it all by yourself. It, starting, uh, considering where we started at, it's like it's like a big milestone for him. Veronica says the cuts have already hit home. I had a nurse come in yesterday, and you know, and they're asking me, well, you know, how many minutes of, does your child need this so we're able to help? Don't time these kids. Just look at your grandparents, your parents as they get older. Would you want someone to time them? And say. How long will it take for you to tie your shoe? Don't do that to these kids. The mothers are now hoping when lawmakers return to Austin next week, their voices will be heard and the cuts reversed. I would love for them to spend one day in my daughter's shoes and Eric's shoes. I would love to take their mouths and their hands and their feet and put weights on them so they can understand what our babies go through. Don't take away the only thing that can make our children successful. But they aren't stopping there. Just give me a chance. You have a responsibility. The mothers are also a part of the Capable Kids Foundation, an organization dedicated to improving the quality of life for children with disabilities and their families. House Speaker Joe Strauss has been an advocate for such families and has gone on record saying that reversing the cuts will be a priority once the legislature begins meeting next week. Veronica hopes other lawmakers will follow suit. I don't like to call them special because we're all special. They have an adaptive lifestyle. It's tough. And it's a 24-hour care. It's not just one or two hours. It's a lifestyle. In McAllen, Patrick Shaw, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.